Greetings everyone, and Grade here from another H Powers 3 replay. Spawn on the south side as the blue Chinese. We have Hydrochrome on the north side as the red Iroquois. We have Horizon God 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's see now. Let's take a look and see what natives on the map. Navajo settlement does give them access to the Navajo rifleman, a Navajo skirmisher that runs quickly. And we do also have the Apache. The Apache does have access to the Apache Cavalry. A ranged cavalry, good against cavalry, so it's a Dragoon variant. If it looks like man, it looks like a red dead spawn of two copper mines right next to each other. I wonder if the uh, tribal markets, one tribal market can be placed in between the two, saving some eh, extra wood there. Of course, the Chinese don't have access to uh, convert the local human population. So it just punches them. And you got the disciple moving around. And looks like the, uh, the name is Explorer Tree. I should really take a look at Explorer names a bit more often. Zing Jang? Is that the name of the hero actually in the campaign? Looks like the... I'm not sure if we sh Excuse me, I'm not so sure what he's trying to do with this guy here. But you could try to convert one of these units, either Bandit Gunslinger, the Bandit Rifleman. Or Rifleman seems much better to convert. And then you can go ahead and get the Bandit Gunslinger. And have himself a free Cherokee Rifleman. Oh, we do have uh, shipments now available, so let's see what the Chinese player can spawn in. Got the one time muster of villagers. We got the supplementary roll. Get tiny trick of all resources, including export. Uh, got food, coin, Chuko News, standard army hit points, which increase the health of Chuko Nu and Step Riders. Wang Pikemen. Step Riders, Mongolian Scourge. Step Riders do more dangerous villagers and buildings. Catchers do more dangerous to heavy cavern and hand shock. And Iron Flares do more dangerous to archers and scrumptures. Of course, we've got the Flamethrower and Castle Rickshaw combo. Diplomatic Intrigue, received 300 export. And then all your relationships cost 75 cents less, so it's basically 375 export. And then we go, we've got the uh, Rat and Shields. Castle Coin. Shadow Swordsman, Territory of uh, Army Combat, increases Arquebus and Shondo's attack point and hit points increased. The Repelling Volley, Chuko News and Arvos do extra damage to Light Cavalry. Does find some, some wildlife, uh, not wildlife, or some uh, natives there. And also going to focus down one of them. They do clone San Francisco Guardians, so it does pick off one of them there. He does actually get a Chiaku Rifleman as well, so that is not a Guardian. The Chinese Explorer does go down. In the meantime, let's see. Beijing Army, eight separators, eight Keshiks, and also give them this discipline upgrade for both. So if you save out a little bit longer, you get some extra research. Uh, meter Hammers, Hand Mortars, Intervention, and Manchurian Cavalry Archers. Old Density Reforms, you can make your cheap units even fine. Much, much better, but does make them a bit more expensive. Montreal Combat increases the Pikeman, Shinkado, Keshek, and Meter Hammer attack and hit points. And Western Reforms, all units get 8 attack points and damage. That looks like destroy that uh, village there. We do got the Temple of Heaven being point of view, which does shit. One build allows you to use the Transcend build to heal all players' units, as well as the uh, allowing the Shando monster to heal from the units. Also, when built in this age, we'll give you three villagers. Man, the Iroquois is going very aggressive now, isn't he? Speaking of which, let's see what uh, cards he can get. He's like going for the Resurrected Warp Chief Plaza. When he's down, increase the hit points of the Warp Chief hit point by 18%. He does actually have six villagers there. He's. Okay. Okay, I'm one. really heavy aggression on the war chief right there. Is this some sort of unique way of playing this? He has community plaza here with a good number of villagers there. 
He's eyeing for heavy aggression, isn't he? Let's see now. Villagers, which he's not got often. He does not get high war chief there to increase the uh, war chief hit point and damage, enable hit point more action. More villagers, but he has got point down the shore, make war chief more destructive against buildings. Lost a thousand four hundred attack points on your chief. On the Horton. He has two hundred and thirty-two siege damage. What the hell? What are the top and center hit points? All damage by 50%. That could give him quite a bit more. I don't think that's more effective, but still. Uh. Holy crap. The hit points will probably be very important. Warchief is starting to push us down. This is definitely the long, wrong landmark. landmark. This we is well, some step riders there. As the trooper news, he needs those guys to engage. The war chief oh, needs to so keep torching this down. He's a transcend ability there. Well, not hard, huh? Does not appear to be working in combat. War chief's now starting to torch down the town center. He could have destroyed that a long time uh, soon. The war chief looks like he will destroy the town center. One more torch, and town center goes down. And now the villagers could gun him down. Does the villagers do gun him down? What the hell? Well, the Chinese player will need to build another town center. But let's take a look at our cards. We got more archers, um, hawks, horsemen, uh, native warrior combat, the Huron allies, great cover wagon. Horse prowlers, tomahawks, veins on board. Does take up the scout there. Now they got the disciple there. He does have these true news. They do bone savers heavy, and tomahawks are classified as heavy. Those are not being brought up in to do some damage there. True do get some good damage there. They're being forced to back with the true news. We need to pull out more true news, honestly, at the current rate. Does get a ship of true news, looks like. You're on mantlets, uh, more units. Renegade French, Native War, Native Warrior Conscription, Native Warriors are less expensive, you've trained them more of them. More crates, Forest Prowlers, Tomahawks, Light Cannon, Heavy Fortifications, Renegade French, and Canadian Loyalists. Now I've got the War Chief of Fancy on Ford once again. Chinese play, let's see what Chinese players doing. He's going for another army of Old Han, which gives them some Shuko News and Quang Pikemen. He definitely needs those Shuko news. The playing pikeman will be okay, not critical. Tom Hawks are getting focused down one at a time. Now some of these villagers are getting hit as well. He has a bit of export. I think that's enough export to get out something. He may uh, doesn't have any drop off point, does he? Wait. Oh, looks like villagers can be used as drop off point. Okay. That's like another village there with the war chief, who's currently still doing absurd siege damage. He may want to go for a. Uh... Oh, no, he doesn't have the one to get a free consulate and rickshaw. Oh, yeah. Kaiser really does need it because he has enough export there to basket a shipment of foreign mercenaries. Chukarus are in good numbers right now. The Chinese player has 17 villagers. His opponent has 24 and is doing the war chief damage. Now he's going for Travis to get free buildings. Uh, the Chinese player, you need what? 500 wood to get another town center. He's going for a market. It's a sizable force here, that's for sure. But the Chinese player is just his. He's just. Well, uh, no, he's. His bones are not pulling out any uh, villagers, nor is increase the population cap. So this game is pretty static. 
Uh, if the Chinese players can quickly kill off the spawn's units, he'll be in good position. Yeah, he's doing a good job with that. The pike may just want to, may want to focus down the, uh, explorer. Or is it classified as not classified as heavy nor light? Run for some corrals. He probably should get those uh, more long house. He does go ahead and pull off these villagers to build another tribal marketplace here and a kind of bit of a coin on the front line. The Elkor is still not building any more villagers. It's a bit of an oversight, I would say. Gotta continue to build villagers, in my opinion. Now, hunting equals not research, which will give some benefits for the Chinese player. Do you now have towns that are going on up once again? I don't think he deployed out your, the sentries or irregulars from the previous one, so. That was a bit of a waste of ability there. The first towns that will spawn off a new set of buttons like that. Intriguing deployed on out. He does get a console now upon a field. What relation is going to go for? Maybe French would be good to get grenadiers? Or is that the wrong age for that? I can't remember. What age is what? He's waiting for his uh, diplomatic entry to get the initial cost less. He would put up an almost 800. He would put up the 800 uh, export as well, which in the past get two shipments of military units in, which could be very useful. He does that? He's not getting any villagers producing at all. He needs more food. He's having trouble with the local wildlife. Oh, simply just nothing nearby. We have the step rider. Seems some more hot fire. Doesn't hit any of these villagers. He's going to try to raise some in lone villagers. Like right here, it could be a really good spot to villagers by themselves. Shit. And this. Oh, you can perhaps use a transcend ability that gets these guys healed up. This tran this uh, Temple of Heaven is probably one of the worst landmarks you could pick. I'm not sure why you went for this one. I guess you really put a lot of faith in three villagers. If you pick up his explorer. He says I can get him as a medic as well, which could be useful. And now I've got some British red coats. Red coats could be very useful. Now I'll pull back the cavalry, but also pull. Separator does go down. Uh, as well as just provide some good fire support. Uko News will still be useful versus these Tomhawks, that's for sure, but they will be. Actually, they will. Their class is light range, right? Yeah, so the, these archers won't do any additional damage, but the, those archers will do both damage versus the red coats. Red coats are not classified as mercenary. You guys go ahead and push the force the red coats into the melee. Let's use a transcend ability there. It does not do healing in combat. All the reticles have gone down, he hooks those guys down. And now it's true for trying to get overran. And now I got a wave of sentries being spawned field. Next set of reticles should be spawning out relatively soon, right? Or did he cancel that? Alright, oh, they may have already died. There's another army there. He needs to take out that explorer before it starts torching down the stuff. He just took out a big chunk right out of that village. Juco News and these Annas who are going to be on relatively equal terms with each other. Both names 16 range versus 5 times 3, so 15 damage, 16 range as well. So they're on relatively equal terms. More 
are damage resistant these Let's see. guys. 27 health versus 110. Chinese right, shipment coming on in, not getting any villagers, so I say it doesn't oversight. His opponent is building up villagers up to 29, the Chinese just only up to 17. Looks like he is set to the war chief still. What? Uh, he has not gotten this as well. This could push him up to well above a thousand health. Design for more villagers right now. He does have, actually have quite a bit of resource stockpiled up as well. Chinese players now pulling out some villagers as well as some more standard armies, Juko News and Step Riders. Now does have the age up available. He does age up with the wise woman. And now he's able the Chinese players will push forward, able to claim up some of these bison. The uh, fur dressing being researched, as well as, of course, the lumber ceremony. Mostly, it's not got any native warriors at the moment. Just a little bit quiet right now. I'm just gonna fast forward. Both sides are echoing up. The Iroquois just eyeing for the next age. Chinese players just trying to mount a massive force. They're pretty far from the next age himself. Now I know the opponent has been to the next age. Bring out more of these uh, tomahawks. That looks like a shipment there. Now we've got the Renegade French, the Heavy French Cavalry, and something got some fast spawn there, so it's one of the big buttons. Okay. Oui. Now we've got some veteran cuirassiers blowed on the field. Step Riders do bonus damage versus uh, infantry, less versus heavy. Juco News, they do not do bonus damage versus. Actually, cuirassiers are. Hey. They do have, they are a melee one, not a ranged one. So only the pikemen also do bonus damage, though the Kashyyyks do bonus damage to heavy cav. But right now the base damage is quite low. Aircore right now is overpopulation, so it's going to send off some awesome. military to die, so get more population space. Got a lot of free tax here. Let's get some great hits on the curse here. Taking those out will be very important. They're a very expensive, powerful unit right now. Trukanos is getting close damage across the front line. Step Riders trying to head oh, over no. the archers. Tumpox moving around. Cursier is not connecting onto the Trukanos. Gains some great damage there, but all the Cursiers do go down. Trukanos will do both the Tomahawks. 
And the hand attack is, of course, not that great, though, while it's still doing bonus damage. So now it's just Archer versus Archer. Got more of these separated from Spring Forward. And now the Explorers fancy forward, torching down this uh, village once again. Now we'll come on in, we'll finish off the rest of this Bowman, but this village will, the village will go down. Many players still has plenty of population space, now pulling out some red coats. Yes. He needs to get hit back that uh, explorer as soon as he can, the war chief, because that thing, that guy poses too much of a threat to his structures. Now it'll be a good time to use a transcend ability there to get some good healing. And now we do also have the standard uh, army hit points, increasing Shuko new step riders hit points. As another shipment coming on, it can be put in. Maybe a castle rickshaw or a flame guard would hurt. He's forced to now advance and forward. He doesn't have to worry about the war hut. Maybe go to focus on the war hut first since it does pull it out as an attack. And the Iroquois eyeing for his Imperial in Age, or not Imperial Age, his Fortress Age. Not Fortress Age. Industrial Age. I'm getting all the games mixed up now. But she may be eyeing for Light Cannon. We will clean up this infrastructure, get a bit of XP. Warhawk Blue has gone down. Sometimes it's not a good idea to age up. Uh, wait. That community plaza does go down as well. And he does get a farm out. There's plenty of still wildlife in the field. I'm not sure why he's going for uh, farms. It's better to go for the wildlife. Sure, these do improve food production rate for all food sources that are in livestock, but does not affect. Uh, could be so useful in hunting on the bison. So the Iroquois are making a couple bad decisions, in my opinion. Got a siege wall shop going up with that Travis. He's eyeing for the light cannon spam. Light cannons are pretty good. They're good generous artillery piece. They're light, but they can they're both a mix of the falconet and the culvert. Which makes them very useful. And the airport just lost a good number of villagers there. He's not been maintaining villager production. He's down to 26. Well the Chinese now has 29, so the Chinese do have a slight village advantage. And some poorly sorted out economy as well. So the Chinese players could be doing fine. He's going to invest a quite a bit into the age up as well, so he's not going to pull out tomahawks the time being. Siege workshops aren't going down, not going to any light cannon, does not have enough wood at the moment. He's going to need more than one set of tomahawks. He has not been maintaining production, so he's he now got the flamethrower. Does he do bonus damage buildings? Yes, he does do bonus damage buildings. Now got the light cannon firing away, looks like it may have been a shipment. Does force this one away. We've seen quite a bit of damage here. Trying to hit the flame throw, which is classified as a siege weapon. Like, and there goes the flamethrower. Why can't do go down? And other thing as well, if he didn't go for that farm, his village would have been nice and safe over here, plugging up the uh, land tanks. Tomox is going going down. The War Hut does have a weapon here to fight some fire support, but nothing too significant. Does have one shim available. He's going for the Renegade French. Time say Renegade French at this point in time, that's simply just not enough. Honestly, the four scrollers of the Tomahawk squad would, would be a little better. Yeah, I think the Iroquois player threw with the game, not maintaining village production and holding managed economy. 
we'll do anybody in. Golden Skirt, should we just arrive? Making so this Catholic does extra bonus damage. The French uh, Forceman will come out very shortly. Uh, his score has been picked on up, which will be useful to charge his way forward. And now I've got the Step Rider, which uh, does do bonus damage to villagers. Gains some good hits here. French cavalry are now being focused down. Multiple flamethrowers now pulling field. Looks like the uh, explorers now down here, but not throwing torches. It's just a bit more lackluster. Eh, six damage per shot is not bad. Crack shot there, gets a good AoE. The Chinese army will clean up everything. There's has some infrastructure over here. No town center though. May want to get these soldiers onto the wood. We get out another town center. Spore goes down once again. And now let's look at the play a little bit of hide and seek. Oh, no. Those here do manage to be not detected there. We need some more wood. It does have a lumber ceremony. We've got a castle here that may have been the castle rickshaw. His opponent does not has not managed next age going for a shipment of the uh rat and shields, going for the town government as well. You know, maybe I need to get his explorer resurrected. Nope. XP may want to go for the explorer to get resurrected. Let's take up that uh, French cavalryman. Does find this infrastructure here. The villagers do ban the region. I'm just going to just clean up through. Yeah, I'm just going to fast forward because now I'm just playing hide and go seek. Oh, and for the forest powers, you have a camouflage ability. Very good at hide and go seek. Doesn't have the old knight of support, so can't get that to call in. Elite forest power is now camouflage his way forward. The step uh, riders do find those villagers, take them out, support them all now by the red coats. I find a siege workshop here. Maybe trying to go for flanking pattern rats. The force probably do now engage these villagers. Does get a couple good kills there. We can't fall away, but they get spotted by the explorer, and they will be chased down and burned alive. Another war hut. They're right now mighty war huts.
Uh, oh, we got some infrastructure down here. Yeah, I didn't really think the uh, Aeroport player really threw with the game. Got another town. Oh, no, there's another Mighty War Hut. Battery Ram's trying to be pulled on out. It will get spotted immediately. It does cancel Battery Ram's time. Now, it looks like the Chinese player is on the wall up. He knows his opponent's trying to just do some stupid shenanigans with Battery Ram's. He really should just back out of the game. The game's over. Another long house has been pulled in field. It looks like it's time for some Travis production. Let's get a free Travis out. Another Mighty War Hut. The Chinese player has gotten quite a bit of uh, military in the field. So 30 population, but at this point in time, not like this one need much military population. He's hunt down those uh, villages there of the Steph Riders. Those just will skip on out there. You got the oh, the French cavalry are arrived. Does bring out some of the uh, uh, the uh, Canadian loyalists. Those are actually dragoons, not uh, French cavalry. French Canadian cavalry. I think that uh, sound voice is still. Yep, that's definitely the French sound. So it's French uh, Canadians. Teach workshop. Does get spotted there by the castle. Does come down that villager. More is starting to be torched down. Blue's heading down south. Of course, the castles do less damage versus villagers. 25% less damage. And now here comes French Canadians. There's one Seth Rider here. And now it's bringing south the uh, irregulars. This will go down. He does have a long house over here. Now it looks like the ready coats are being brought on in as well. Chupa news and sentries firing away. Yeah, it's just appeared through that long, long hut on the field. Looks like he uh, finally cast a GG. This is Andre saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.